was Poppy Wolpeck. I'm Kiliota. And I'm Ashley Fortin. Today is September 30th, and we are here for your distance learning news. Let's check out the latest update. Throughout last week, Wolfie joined random classes to count how many students dressed up in spirit theme. Each student that dressed up earned spirit points for their class. Also, points were given for students that sent in door decorations, with sophomores entering twice as many as any other class. In fourth place, with 355 points, are the juniors. In third place, with 360 points, are the freshmen. In second place, with 370 points, are the sophomores. And finally, with 385 points, the seniors got the most spirit points. Next are the winners of the door decorations. With the senior theme High School Musical, we've got Hannah Zhang. With the junior theme Camp Rock, we've got Malia Delgado. With the sophomore themed Teen Beach Movie, we have Hannah Giroux. And last but not least, with the freshman themed Descendants, we've got Aiden Bach. Also, make sure to keep an eye out for a virtual club rush. Information will be sent out in the link once it's available. Here is Paula with an interview with the film club. Hi, I'm Patricia Sabulo, and I'm the president of Film Club. Hi, I'm Kate Christman, and I'm vice president of Film Club. I'm Christina Colo, and I'm also vice president of Film Club. So what made you guys want to start Film Club? I saw that other schools had film clubs, and they ended up making great films and videos, and I noticed that CEO didn't have a film club. Over quarantine, I started making effects-based videos and sharing them on Instagram, and I soon realized that there was a community out there that was willing to help and share their knowledge in order for everyone to improve their artwork and videos. So we thought that it would be cool to start our own community at school. How would the pandemic influence the way you would run this club on a regular basis? So the original plan was to film our videos at school or somewhere outside and learn as a group how to operate cameras and editing programs. But obviously this isn't going to be possible with the pandemic. So instead we're going to teach online and on Discord and people would make their own individual projects which we would share at the end of every month. Are there any requirements to be in your guidance club? No, not really. Um, if you have a laptop, people could have access to editing softwares by using their student accounts, but if not, there's these amazing apps on the phone such as Premiere, Rush to edit, Filmic Pro to record on. Experience isn't required, and we, including me, Kate, and Patty, we're also here to help. So how and when will your club meet up? Um, we're going to meet up through Zoom calls because the share your screen feature allows us to easily access your screen and directly help you with any problems. However, outside of the club meetings, if there's anyone who has trouble, we can use the app Discord to communicate. We're currently working on the details for the club, so if you're interested in joining, please answer the survey in the bio of my Instagram, at Patty Cibulo. As of now, our first meeting would be on Tuesday, October 6th at 2 p.m. through Zoom call. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to meet up and talk about Film Club. Thank you, Paula. Now let's pass it over to John for your sports update. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan here with your sports update. Let's kick this week off with basketball. At a time of the year when television ratings tend to increase, the NBA went in the opposite direction. During the conference finals, the LA Lakers played the Denver Nuggets and was expected to get a lot of views since LeBron James was playing. However, one game dropped 41% in viewership from the same type of matchup as last season. Now, let's swing on over to baseball. On Saturday morning, Hunter Pence announced his retirement after his 14-year career in the Major Leagues, while spending eight of those years with the San Francisco Giants. He signed with the Giants this past year, but never made it on the big league roster, so he called it quits after 14 years and two World Series championship rings. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ashley Fortin. And I'm Kelly Ota. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a great day, Wolfpack.